Hey guys, so it is a new day here in Panama City and today we are doing an excursion bright and early. It is 5 a.m. right now, it's still dark out. We are going to the San Blas Islands today. I'm super excited for this. So the San Blas Islands are islands located on the other side of Panama. So right now we're on the Pacific side, but these islands are on the Atlantic side. So this excursion is gonna take us 14 hours because you have to drive all the way to the other side of Panama and then you have to take a boat to the island. So it's gonna be a long, long day. I don't think we're gonna get back until I think seven or eight at night. So it's gonna be a long day. Right now we're just waiting for the tour guide to pick us up from our hotel, but I'm so excited for this because I heard these islands are like a not miss in Panama. I heard they are absolutely gorgeous. So I'm super, super excited for this one. All right, so quick update. We stopped uh, for gas at this little mini mart on the side of the road. And it looks like all the people doing this tour stop at the same gas station. If you can see outside, there's like cars lined up. I think everyone is going to the San Blas Islands and everyone like stops here before they go. Um, so it's just like a mini mart where you could grab like food over here. They have like chips and snacks and stuff. Cause the tour leaves at 5 a.m. So most hotels breakfast isn't open. So I guess they stopped here so we could grab like something, you know, a little something to eat, which is nice. Cause I'm starving. Um, the car, a little bit cramped. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven of us. Me and my mom are like in the very back seat. And then there's like a family of three in front of us. And then there's the driver and there's another guy in the car. So it's kind of cramped in the car and it's a long drive. It's like three hours to get to the port. So not ideal, not ideal, but you know, you work, everybody has like the same car. They don't take like those big like, tour buses out here it looks like everybody has like the same type of rugged like SUVs that they take so I think if you do this tour you're stuck with one of these cars no matter who you're doing the tour with um, but we're gonna stop and grab a little bit of food and then I guess be back on our way he was just telling us that the ride is about to get bumpy from like this point on so I think like you kind of veer off like there's a main road that takes you um this towards this way and then you kind of veer off into like the more so the countryside to get to the port so it's about to get a little bumpy and also um you have to pay port fees like even if you buy the tours all the tours i looked like looked at did not include the port fees so it's 25 dollars for the port fees that you have to pay on top of the tour too to be able to over there so all right guys so we finally made it to the port we left the hotel around 5 30 it's nine o'clock now so it took a little while to get here it's super windy out here i think we're about to take off now uh about to get on the boat the water is super choppy um the ride guys was a mess like she said uh, it was bad. <laughs> it was bad listen i almost got sick in the car it was bumpy you're riding through inclines hills mountains that last little bit y'all it was it was a lot i was not doing well in that car um, but we finally made it here thank goodness and we're gonna take off in a little bit in one of these boats San Blas Islands and there's like a ton of these islands that make up like the whole San Blas Islands this is just one of the islands right now and it's just a beautiful island in the middle of the ocean we have our own private beach here like ah! the boat ride here it was so choppy tons of ways i had a blast though i loved it the car ride we could leave that out but the boat ride i absolutely loved it i grew up on boats so it just reminded me of when i was like a kid on my dad's speedboat i loved it 
And look at this water. It's completely clear, blue water. Say hi, Mom. Hi. And you can see like there's more islands over here. So we're supposed to be stopping at, I, I believe, three different islands. And they're going to be doing lunch for us as well on one of the islands. But this is our first stop. So we're going to be here for two hours just chilling out, exploring. So they just brought us like a little fruit plate, a little snack to eat. And now we're just kind of walking around the island, exploring the different areas. There's like nothing like this. Like having this private island to yourself. There's like probably 20 of us here. Like this was worth the, the four hour journey, the trek in the car, getting sick in the car, being squished in the back seat. Like this was completely worth it to do look at this hi <laughs> it's awesome and then you've got a great view of the other islands over here they've got like volleyball nets up if you want to play something and the water is crystal clear Oof. this is what this is what life is guys they also have like a little stand in the middle where they're selling um they're selling different knickknacks and stuff symbol everywhere do not be alarmed <laughs> it is not a swastika it's part of their flag of the indigenous people here and they use this flag when they did protest out here so that's the flag for that that has nothing to do with like swastika because i kept seeing it everywhere and i was asking them like why like why do you guys have this symbol everywhere but it doesn't mean what you know you think it means all right, so now we're heading out. We were at this island, the first island for two hours. Now we're going to a natural pool where we can go swimming. And then after that, we're going to another island to do lunch and a final island. So you get to do three islands and you get to go to a natural pool in this tour. I think we're gonna be at the, the lunch island for another two hours and the natural pool, he said for like maybe like 20, 20, 30 minutes. So that's like a quick stop. So you get to enjoy a whole nother island and, the, and they let us choose between chicken, fish, and seafood for lunch. My mom got the fish. I wanted to get the fish, but she got the fish. So I was like, let me try something else. So I'm gonna get the seafood and pray to the Lord I don't get sick because every time I eat seafood on vacation, I get sick. So fingers crossed here. All right, so for the next stop, we stop in the middle of the ocean <laughs> in the middle of the ocean we're at a natural pool so it's just like elevated to the point where you can like stand and you can walk around but you're in the middle of the ocean i'm loving this so everyone's like out here some people are like snorkeling and stuff people are just jumping up the boat ah!
All right, we made it to the second island. The first one was Big Dog Island. This one is Little Dog Island. And this is the island that you eat at. So we got dropped off. This is like the hut where the food is. And another beautiful island. So it looks like on this island they have like huts where people live. People are like sleeping here. They got like a little hammock set up. They got some houses over here. Oh, not a bad deal. Honestly, I'd be good with this. I feel like I would be set with this right here. Look at this dude. He's on his phone chilling. I found another little secluded area over here on this island. Everyone is like on the other side where the food was. But even though you're coming in like groups of people and there's different groups in and out of the islands, you can still find areas where you're by yourself. Like this whole area right now, no one's over here. I'm just chilling by myself. All right, guys, we made it to the final island. They have a really cute restaurant here on the water. And I think people can rent houses here or like book little houses because they have houses scattered all through the island. And then the restaurant says serves breakfast, lunch and dinner. So I think people can actually uh, stay here for the night if they want to they have these houses scattered throughout they have like a little laundry area over there you see there's like more houses over there so there's like different um kind of like bungalows i'm assuming people can probably rent these and like stay here which is really cool and they have like hammocks on the beach here It's really cool a really cool option if you want to stay the night and get the full effect of San Blas Islands I wouldn't say they're like the nicest most luxurious bungalows but somewhere to sleep for the night while you enjoy paradise doesn't sound too bad to me seems to be the more chill island as you can see I got my little hammock here I'm laid out I'm watching the guys play volleyball that's the island that we just came from. So the, the lunch island and the third island are like close to each other. And then they got a little, um, they got a little bar over here where you can order like pina coladas, uh, different drinks over there. So this is the last stop. You just come, chill, enjoy life. I'm enjoying life right now. I'm ready to turn this camera off for the day and just relax. And that's it and just be done <laughs> so i'll probably see you guys once we get back to the hotel or i will see you guys tomorrow for another excursion